This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative data is data taken from measurements made in the laboratory and is associated with random errors. So here we have two examples of apparatus that are used to collect quantitative data. On the left, we have a mass balance, which measures mass in grams. On the right, we have a measuring cylinder, which measures the volume in centimeters cubed. Qualitative data includes non-numerical data obtained from observations, not from measurements. Examples of qualitative data include the color change of an acid-base indicator, such as phenolphthalein, which changes color from colorless to pink. Another example of qualitative data is the formation of bubbles of gas in the reaction of magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Next, we look at recording data. A results table should include quantitative data with units and uncertainties. In this results table, which is for an acid-base titration, we have the initial volume of sodium hydroxide, the final volume of sodium hydroxide, and the total volume of sodium hydroxide. And in brackets, we have the uncertainty together with a unit of measurement. Quantitative data should be recorded to the appropriate precision. For example, a burette can measure to two decimal places, so all the values in the results table should be recorded to two decimal places. And finally, qualitative data should also be recorded. In this results table, the color change with phenolphthalein indicator has been recorded for each trial.